Tanchikiwa o Mara Deshnakashun. Hello everyone, my name is Mara and I work at North Island Metis Association. I am here today to do a simple tufting demonstration. Um, so what I have is a, an embroidery needle with a double threaded um, sinew that I have separated. So I've taken one strand and separated it into four or five strands, double threaded, so the ends meet up on the other side. And there is no knot at the end. I have a small piece of felt, um, but you can use leather or whatever size for the project that you're working on. I've got a small pair of scissors and my, um, this is reindeer, um, but you could use moose or caribou if you have access to those. Uh, I use reindeer as it is more ethically sourced, it's not endangered like caribou are, and I it comes in white and so it takes the dye really nicely. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up through the bottom of my felt with my needle and pull it almost all the way through but leave just enough of a tail to tie a knot. And then I'm going to go back down through the same hole that I just came up. And so I'm going to have my needle and my tail on the bottom and then a loop on the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the reindeer hair that I've already pre-cut. And so you can see how big of a piece uh, I'm using. If you take too much, the bundles don't hold together well when you tie them. And if you take too little, then you risk severing the hairs when you tie it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bundle and I'm going to put it through my loops that I've created. and about one finger's distance away from the hide. So this still has the hide on it, which is the animal's skin. And now that I've got it a little bit snug, I'm just going to cut the hide off as close to the end as possible. And then I'm going to give it a tug, and you can see as I've tugged it, it's puffed up. And then I'm going to do something called a box or square knot. So I'm going to loop my long end over the short end and then put the short end up and over and through the hole and pull and then the next knot I'm going to put the short end over the long end and then go down and then up through and give it a nice good pull and I like to make sure it's nice and snug and then cut the ends of the sinew off if you don't cut the ends off between each tuft bundle, your work will pucker, and you don't want that. And then what you're going to do is you will just trim all of the hairs into whatever shape you would like. So you can tuft freehand like this, you could draw a pattern out, you could also, um, let me just move that off to the side, you could also have some beadwork and do tufts in the center. So this is a piece that I am working on right now. And you can see that I have outlined these petals with beads, and then I'm filling in the center of the petals with the tufts. And each of these petals has two tufts in it. Um, and then I've just trimmed it to shape um, to the flower petal. I've also got some freehand pieces that I've done. So I've got a tufted, blueberry and a tufted Saskatoon berry and a little tufted leaf as well. Um, if you would like any more information on tufting, we have our website www.nimat.com and there is a brochure under the resources tab um, that has information on the history of tufting um, as tufting is a Métis traditional art form. And so you will just keep trimming this until you get it to how you would like. So this could be the center for flower or whatever. I've seen some beautifully tufted pieces in all sorts of designs. Guapa um, Matimina, I will see you again soon. Merci for watching.